Is it the best technique? No, no, it's not. Is it the technique I'm using right now? Yes, yes it is. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Bianca Skogan Beauty. Okay, so today's video, I am going to do like a compare and contrast, I guess. We're going to do my 2022 favorites in every makeup category. And then I'm also going to compare it to my 2021 makeup favorites. So I just rewatched my 2021 makeup favorites and we'll see if any of them are still the same. And if I use any of them now, I'm going to like tell you about it because so I think it's, I've been watching other content creators do this video where they're talking about their 2021 makeup favorites. And I thought I would combine it because why not? <laughs> So here we go, let's do it. And you can see that I have no makeup on because we're gonna put on my 2022 favorites because that's what I did in my last video. Last year, I put on the 2021 favorites. Um, and last year's was a really like toned down makeup look. I was surprised because I, I feel like I wear very like a lot of color. So it was surprising that it was a very like almost no makeup makeup look. Um, this year's probably won't be that. So interesting, interesting. Okay, let's start with primer. I have, I wrote everything down on a notebook. So I'm gonna be looking down at that maybe a little bit, but last year's primer was the Tatcha primer. And I still love this primer. I think that what happened with this, why it's not my favorite primer this year is because I had stacked some things on top of it in the drawer that it goes in. And then it kind of, I forgot about it because things were stacked on top of it because I watched this video today and I was like, oh my gosh, I love that primer. Why haven't I used it? S things were stacked on top of it. I need to get them off of it because I love that primer. And this year it is, uh, so I want to mention in this video, I do have some like luxury products like the Tatcha and then here, this is my hourglass primer. This is my 2022 favorite primer. So this one, obviously luxury. Um, I also have some some high-end products. So not like as expensive as this luxury, um, but still expensive high-end. And then I do have some um, drugstore favorites as well. So I have a mixture in here. So it's not all just like really, really expensive. And then in the 2021 favorites, I think I had, I had a drugstore product in there. I don't actually typically use a lot of drugstore products because I just have a tendency to shop at Sephora and um, shop at like indie brands. And so when I do actually pick up something that is drugstore, it has been like highly re recommended from other content creators. And then I'm like, Ooh, I want to try that out. And then I end up really liking it. So if it's in these favorites, it means like to me, it's really, really good. These are just my favorite products. Um, they might not work for you. They might work really great for you. We have different faces. We have different skin types. So, um, I, I just think for me, they work really well. All right. So 2022 favorite is this top, this hourglass veil mineral primer. And I'm just going to, I like one of the reasons I really like this one. Um, this one does actually have a little, oh no, where did I put it? It does have a little, um, scraper. I think it's in the, in the drawer that I keep it in. This one is nice because it is just a, a, a pump action. So they're both nice though. They both feel, I think I like them both because they both have that kind of silicone feel to them where you put them on and then it feels, your skin just feels like glass. It feels so soft and smooth. Although I know that sometimes primers having like a sticky base is nice too. I prefer feeling the softness of my skin. I feel like that feels nice. <laughs> For foundations, my 2021 favorite foundation was the Urban Decay Hydromaniac. And I still really love this foundation. I'm still getting through it. Um, it, I, it says that it has a 12 month shelf life. So technically it maybe is expired, but I'm using it up because I really like it. I still, I still think it's really good. I'm still using it up. Right now though, my favorite foundation the, of 2022 is dropped, is the Pat McGrath. So this one, I went from a high end 2022 to kind of a luxury. <laughs> This one is from Pat McGrath Labs. It is a skin fetish sublime perfection foundation. I have it in the shade light six and I didn't buy this for full price. I think I got this one. 
Pat McGrath actually has some really good sales on her site. She'll have like 30% off. She just had um, where you could get 40% off if you spent enough. But I think sometimes she even has, I think like she sometimes has her foundation even more than that off. Like right now, I think her foundation is like alone, just like 40% off or something like that. So I believe I got this foundation for a really good price and I love it. I love the consistency of it. It is, it's a medium coverage foundation and it is also very liquidy but I just feel like it feels like skin and I haven't like a lot of other content creators will talk about that like and they'll be like oh it just feels like skin and I then I put it on and I'm like that doesn't feel like skin um as much as foundation as much as makeup will obviously <sighs> nothing is really gonna feel like skin because the, it's not actually your skin <laughs> but this one is the closest this one for me, because it's so lightweight, it just, I don't know, it doesn't, it doesn't look cakey. It looks, I think it looks the nicest. I just think it covers my redness and then I put it on and I'm just like, oh, that looks nice. And this um, beauty sponge that I'm using is from Co Sonia Kashik. I got it from Target and I wouldn't say that it's my favorite. <laughs> I am using it because it's the one I'm using right now. Um, and I think actually I did that in last year's video too. I talked about how I was using a Huda Beauty one and it wasn't my favorite. <laughs> but sometimes I just, you know, you use it because you're using it. My actual favorite beauty sponge is a beauty blender. This one, it just gets so big and I feel like I can't get into like the little areas as well. Anyway, that might even be a really, really light coverage. Like you can see my freckles really, really well. So if I want more coverage, I can do another pump, boom, and just do another coverage. And now I can get like medium coverage. Maybe when I put the other, this second layer, it doesn't look as skin-like, but with that first layer, I fell, I don't know, it's just, it's just such a nice foundation. I've been getting really a lot of breakouts on my nose lately. So I like to, <laughs> I like to uh, cover up that redness on my nose, especially. And if just foundation will do it and not, I don't have to use concealer, then that's fantastic. I still will because I have a favorite concealer to talk about. Okay, so then the concealer, our concealer favorites from 2021 was the e.l.f. Hydro, what is it? It's the e.l.f hydrating camel concealer. I still have it. Um, it has, it does look like it's seen a little bit better days, but I think I put this through my concealer, declutter it, it didn't smell that bad. It doesn't smell great. Maybe this does need to be decluttered. It's a little bit old. Anyways, it smells a little sour. Okay, so that probably should be decluttered. Anyways, that is not my favorite now. My Now my favorite concealer is actually, I don't as much have a favorite concealer. This is my, let me show you my drawer. This is my drawer of concealers. And I just kind of rotate through one. Like I just, I don't know, I, I don't as much, I don't know if concealers don't, I don't put them on a huge area on my face. I just put them here. And so, and I know people, some people be like be very, um, concealers are, are just a big thing for them and they, they're very, what is the word? Um, concerned, concentrated, particular. They're very particular about their concealers because they want to make sure that they don't crease. They want to make sure that they cover up their dark circles. They want to make sure that, you know, that if they have hollow eyes that they, you know, there's a lot of things that, can, um, uh, can, that concealers can do. I have never found a concealer that like it doesn't crease every single concealer like because you you move your eyes and you smile and you make expressions during the day all of I, I I don't know I don't think it's possible for a concealer not to crease so I, I I think that a lot of concealers are very similar so this concealer I like this concealer I wouldn't say it's like the top of the top I guess I'm not a guru to go to for your favorite concealer let's let's go for that this is the Tarte um, ultra creamy shape tape concealer. It is in the shade 22B and I, it's just a little mini size because I was trying to find my right shade match. Cause I have like 
five Tarte concealers and they all are different colors. So I was trying to buy little ones and I think they were even on sale because I was trying to find the right color. Anyways, I think I finally did. Um, this is a good winter shade and then I found a good summer shade. Anyways, I just, I, they're just, I, I, I do like a creamy concealer because that one was hydro, made, that one was hydrating and this one's creamy. So I, I don't know, concealer. A concealer is a concealer. <laughs> Sometimes I use a brush, but I really just like using my beauty blender. I just feel like it blends it out so nice, which is one of the reasons I think I don't love this um, sponge as much because that's, it, <laughs> it's so big, it doesn't get into this area as well. Boom, concealer. Sometimes, oh yes, I wanted to put some on my nose because of the redness on my nose. I don't want to be Rudolph, Ru Rudolph, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer this season. I'll leave that to him. For eyeshadow, for 2021, I had two eyeshadow palettes that I was talking about. Okay, so the two eyeshadow palettes I talked about were the Danessa Myricks um, Lightwork Volume 3 and the Rowan Beauty 1111 eyeshadow palettes and I still love these. I still love these eyeshadow palettes. I think it's because um, they're both like creamy palettes and I think that that shows something that I do really love like I oil paint and I've talked about this quite a bit and so that consistency these these creamy eyeshadows like these are a creamy consistency if you can even you can tell from the mess I've made around them and these are very creamy as well they're just they have no fallout these do a little bit these are highlighters but these don't have any fallout because they have that creamy consistency and that is you know oil paint i just like that consistency i like cream eyeshadows or liquid eyeshadows for the same reason okay but this year i i i could still put those in my favorites but i'm going to choose a new favorite because i can and i do have a new favorite this one this is the Nat natasha denona my dream palette it's funny because there is like a splatter effect on this from the actual design of the palette but i have some new splatters on it just because uh life happens <laughs> I can blame it on my kids, but it was totally me. And I love this palette. I did a five looks, one palette with this palette. And then I've actually still been using it. And every time I use this palette, I just think it is stunning. And it has the most beautiful, um, like multi-chrome in this palette. It looks purple to you, but it's actually like green, green to purple. It's absolutely stunning. And I think we'll be using that today. And I just love it. I love it. I think it is a beautiful eyeshadow palette. And I'm so glad I got it. And I didn't, I didn't get it on sale and normally I do normally I wait to get things on sale I would have but I was trying to get a video up on this and I'm so glad that I still love this palette as much as I do because I paid so much for it you know I paid the full price so anyways I'm going to I'm not actually sure what I'm going to do today so let's just play around I am planning on doing kind of a bright lip so I don't want to go too overboard with my eyeshadow okay we're gonna start with this brown nurture shade for my transition. You know what's funny about eyeshadow looks is that my best eyeshadow looks usually are not on camera because I'm looking right now at the, my phone. <laughs> and my best eyeshadow looks are when I'm looking at my mirror. And these are the ones that I'm showing you guys and I'm doing the worst. <laughs> I always think that's so funny. But hopefully they're not that bad. But you never know, especially right there. I feel like I always have this little area right here that never blends well. I don't know why. And over here, yeah. All right, let's just put vision like all over. I'm gonna use my finger because I feel like it just works the best. Bianca, what are you doing? Okay. Should I use my finger? Yeah. Perfect. Nice. See, oh yes, that's great because it, this is good because I am trying not to do too crazy of a look and it isn't, it does kind of look subtle-ish. 
it's such a multi-dimensional color that it just transforms. It kind of looks champagne right now. Um, but the different angles that you do, like I'd say, maybe it looks more green in that angle. It's just, it's stunning. I love it. Okay, now for the inner corner, I think, yes. So, so there's spontaneous and there's thrill and thrill is more of a topper shade. So I'm going to go with, like it doesn't have as much pigment to it, which is why I'm going with spontaneous. Nice. Bianca, can you just use your other pinky? Good. Okay, now I'm going to get more mission to kind of blend that out. Nice. Nice. Go. I'm going to take a little bit of edgy and put it underneath. Nice, that's pretty. That is one of the cream to powders. I love that there's so many different formulas in this eyeshadow palette. Wow, that's pretty. It's funny because it looks like such a, a purple shade and then you put it on and it's like, I don't know, kind of red purple. That's nice. Now, there is my 2022 favorite eyeshadow palette and an eyeshadow look. Okay, I didn't talk about an eyeliner in my 2021 because I didn't wear eyeliner as much, but I do now. So we're going to put on eyeliner real quick um, because I don't like to do it on camera because it always looks terrible. So I'm gonna put it on real quick and then I'll get back to you. Eyeliner is on and I forgot to tell you what it was. So it is from Tarte. It is the Double Take Awake eyeliner. And I love this. I got it in a BoxyCharm, which was surprising because BoxyCharm has been kind of pretty hit or, miss, hit or miss for me this year. This was a Tarte takeover of BoxyCharm. It was like the premium box. And this was one of, the, one of my favorite things from that box. It's just an eyeliner. But one side has a, like a, a, a cream color because you put it in your in your waterline and it's supposed to you know make you look more awake and the other side is an eyeliner but i love this eyeliner because it is very thin and like i just i've never i don't know it, it's very thin and it just really really helps get me really straight wings and it has been it has been my favorite so far so i really like that my 2021 favorite bronzer was from tower 28 and I still love this bronzer. I actually used it yesterday, randomly. Um, not because I was planning, preparing for this video because I hadn't even remembered what my 2021 favorites were. I just used it and I, I love it so much because I feel like I have gotten into this habit of getting kind of more pigmented bronzers because I'm lazy and I don't like building up. And so I feel like there's this happy medium. So there's bronzers that are just have no pigment that you have to build and build and build and build. And then there's bronzers that are very pigmented that you put on one dab and then you're like, oh, I have to blend, I have to blend, I have to blend. This is the perfect, the perfect medium. I feel like it's in the shade West Coast. And I feel like I put it on and it is, it's, it's right in the middle. It is pigmented, but not too pigmented. I put it on and I'm like, that's, that's perfect. That's a perfect shade. It's, it's just great. It's great for me. I put it on and I'm like, oh yes, that's that's good. I can put on, I could build it up if I wanted to. I could do a light hand effect. It's just, it's really nice. It's a nice shade. And I guess there's, uh, I, I have a tendency to go a shade higher, uh, a, a shade darker in my, when I'm buying bronzers because I have bought the shade that I think I am, like the, the lighter shade. And, and then it's always too light. And so then I have to build and build and build. And then it never, gets to what I want it to be. So when I find the correct shade that I think it, 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 it's a mag it's magic, it's magic. So my 2000, that one is still 2022 favorite. It is still a favorite, but I did find this beauty, this gem this year. This is from Revolution. It is, is it Makeup Revolution? Yes, it's Makeup Revolution, but it just says Revolution right here. And, um, oh yes, Makeup Revolution London. It also says that, okay. This bronzer, I believe, has kind of gone viral. A lot of people are talking about it. So I did hear about it from content creators. And I was like, an 
I, um, bronzer that, that could be amazing. I got to get this and I got it during an Ulta sale. So I even got it for like, I think $6 or even like five fifty or something. And I got two shades because it, let me, let me show you the other shade because I liked it so much. And it was such a good price that I was like, I can, I can make this work with two shades. So this one is the medium shade. And then that one is more for summer for me. And this one right here that I have right now is more like my winter shade. And I like this as well because um, what I was saying, I think I don't have to either of those two extremes, like where I just have to do a dot and be like, ah, it's too much or build it up forever. I just put it on, bam, done. And it just looks nice. So I enjoy this one and I feel like it blends. I may have put on too much. Dang it. <laughs> It blends out really nicely, really nice, warm color. Oh, so I didn't, I don't think I told you this was the shade light. So I got the shade medium and I got the shade light. I'm not the best at applying bronzer. Like, I feel like it's this weird thing. I don't ever know where to put it. I kind of put it everywhere. Okay. So I think I overdid it. I definitely put on too much on my brush because this is a video that I'm taping. And so of course I would do that. So I'm just gonna kind of clean up the lines a little bit. Yeah, it's nice, it looks good. I like it, I like it. For $8 and then Ulta has sales all the time, it, it's a really good price. My 2021 favorite blush was, I had two. So I had this palette from Danessa Myricks. It's the Lux Cream Palette. And this Danessa Myricks has actually come to Sephora, but you can't buy this on Sephora. I bought this on Beautylish. And then also I got the Rare Beauty Soft Pin Pinch Blush. Okay, this one, I actually used this one yesterday too. That is so funny. I didn't mean to do that. Huh, interesting. Um, and it it is getting a little bit older. Like it was a little bit harder to get the, the blush onto my beauty sponge. I had to like kind of dig in there. Like it's almost like a film kind of has formed because these are creams. Um, I do keep the, the lid on, but I mean, it, it's, it's, I've had it for a little while. So, um, I don't know. I don't think it's ready to declutter yet, but it's getting there. And this one from Rare Beauty, this one, I just, I love this blush. It is still my 2022 top favorite. I, it's, it is so pigmented and you have to use so little and then boom, you have a really great blush on and it lasts all day. I just love that. But I'm going to use a different blush because I don't want to use all the same things. Um, actually, I don't think I've used anything the same thing yet, but I just, I want to show you new things. So um, my new favorite blush, I have two again because I love blush. Um, I have a drugstore blush again i have another drugstore item this one is again makeup revolution it's funny because i don't know if like make, makeup revolution is not even my favorite drugstore brand but i do love this these are just these are items that have been recommended and so i tried them but this is makeup revolution is not my favorite drugstore brand. they just have a good blush and a good bronzer <laughs> Anyways, this one is the um, Super Dewy Liquid Blush, and this one is in the shade, I don't know, it doesn't actually say anywhere on this little tube what the shade is, but it's like, if you go to Ulta, it's the brown one. <laughs> and so it actually, I thought it would be, it, it, it's a little bit misleading, it's not misleading, but I thought it would have more like a neutral brownie co color, like a brownie pinky color, and I feel like it it is, but it's a lot darker than I thought it would be. But we're gonna wear that one today because I really like it. I think it's good for fall and winter. And then my other favorite blushes right now, these ones are kind of more of a, a, a cross between powder and cream, which I kind of like. These are the Item Beauty blushes. And these are not drugstore, but they are kind of a better price at, at Sephora. They're like 16 bucks. So I feel like that for a blush that's at Sephora, that's a pretty good price anyways. I have two shades here. I have Admit It and I have It's Verified. And they're both just beautiful. I really like them. I think they're beautiful blushes. I feel like they wear really nicely. And I like the cream to powder because I feel like it, it looks airbrushed on. Okay, so we are going to put this one on. This is, you can tell this is what I like in a blush um, because I like pigmented blushes. So you just, that might even be too much <laughs> because I like when you just put on it, 
the more pigmented, the more it has a tendency to last all day. And usually when I put on makeup, I want to go about my day and not have to worry about my makeup. So that's, that's what we're doing here. I, okay. So I put it on my hand and then I put it on the back of my beauty sponge and I'm trying to blend it out a little so that it is not, oh good. Okay, good. I'm doing a good job. Sometimes I just go overboard. I'm trying to mix it around. Oh, good. Okay, sometimes I get quite too much and I don't wanna do that for this video. Okay, so this time I still have like some more of that to use and there is a lot, this is a lot, this is a good amount of blush. I feel like I could have showed you guys how pigmented it was, but I am going to go run errands. So I don't really want to look like, like I accidentally put on too much blush. <laughs> then again, I always like, are, I'm under my lights in my bathroom and, and I have a ring light and I have lights around me and my makeup looks normal in these lights, but in natural light, it's always a little too much. Okay, I think that looks, oh my gosh. I'm gonna put on a little more. What's wrong with me? Like, I feel like you can see it from here, but I turn my head and it's like, oh, there's nothing on. And that's, that's not the blush look I want. Yeah, I need more blush. More blush! It's fine. There you go. Now you can see it. People from space are gonna see it. Can you see that like sometimes I'm turning my head, you can see that my eyeshadow is like sometimes greeny and sometimes like purpley. I don't know, I'm seeing it at least. My 2021 favorite highlighter was from Ofra and I still love, I have Ofra, I have a lot of Ofra highlighters. I get them on sale. I never pay the $35 because it's a lot. <laughs> so I get them on sale and, my, and, and still, my favorite highlighter is still, I still love Ofra highlighters. They are just, they pack a punch and they're just gorgeous and I have quite a few of them. And this one is Glazed Donut and this one is currently in like my makeup drawer that I'm using. Um, so this one is beautiful. But, and I think the last, last time I had a different color that I talked about, but it's just Ofra. Ofra highlighters are my favorite. But this year we're going to talk about a different highlighter because I want to show you new stuff. This is an oldie, an oldie, but a goodie. So this is the Benefit Cookie Highlighter. Okay, this, I think this highlighter came out, I don't know, like 10 years ago. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know when it came out, but I just got it. I got it this year for my birthday and I've never had it before and I love it. It's beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. It is stunning. You put on a little and it's like, bam, <laughs> you can be seen from space from, with your highlighter. Anyways, so I, I just, I love it. I like that. I like, I like a stunning highlighter. I don't, I think that stunning highlighters are kind of left, like they're not cool anymore, but I don't always try to be cool. <laughs> I've actually I have a tendency to when something is cool to go away from it. I like to try not to be cool. It's the nerd in me that I've always been nerdy. And so I try to always just stay away from cool and be, keep my nerdiness. There we go. Blinding highlighter. I love it. It is my favorite this year. For eyebrows, last year, my 2021 eyebrow favorites, let's see, what was it? It was my Thrive Eyebrow Pencil, which I don't own or I don't have anymore because I did not declutter it. I actually emptied it. I finished it up and I haven't purchased a new one because I have other ones that I wanna go through. So, and Thrive, Thrive, I love Thrive Cosmetics. I love their, everything that they have, but their sales are terrible. They have the worst sales. They're like, it's Black Friday, 10% off. And I'm like, 10% off? Are you kidding me? That's like nothing. And then they're like, oh, you can have 20% off a bundle that I didn't even pick the bundle. It's, they're, <laughs> I love Thrive, but their sales are terrible. Their sales are terrible. Other people will have like 40% off during Black Friday or 40% off just normally. I don't know. I love a sale. I love a good sale. I like to get things on sale. Thrive, I never can get a good sale. And so I have a tendency to rarely shop at Thrive. Anyways, um, so I don't have a new Thrive Pencil because I can't get one on sale. <laughs> Anywho, so this, and then the other one, it was the, the Thrive Pencil and the Kosas, um, the gel. And I still, I, I don't know if this is my favorite eyebrow because I, my eyebrows, they are, they, they're so thin and sparse and I just, I'm still working through trying to, it's a game. I have gotten an eyebrow stamp this year, but I, I 
it's not my favorite because these actual stamps didn't fit my eyebrows very well. And that's not because yes, they are really thin, but they were like the wrong shape. They were really like long and I, I don't know, whatever. I'm trying to figure out how to, it, it's a game. So this is just what I'm using right now. Is it my favorite? I don't know. It's just what I'm using. So I guess it's my favorite because it's what I'm using. So woo, dropping things. So I still have Kosas and it is in the shade, it's the Airbrow in the shade Taupe. And then I have from Chella. I love this. This was my very first um, eyebrow pencil. I had one from Chella and then I just got this from, I think it was from TJ Maxx, a, a, a new Chella one. And I was like, oh, Chella, that was like my very first one. So I picked up a new one from TJ Maxx and I think it was like three bucks. So I liked it, you know, my very first one and I still like it. I think that says something. I, I really honestly do. I think that that says something. So yeah, I did actually learn watching, you know, beauty videos. I have, I've, I've learned a new way to do my brows. Uh, not that it is revolutionary because it's definitely not, but I used to just be like, just go burp, 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 and be done. But now I'm trying to kind of make a shape. And I think that this is actually how beauty gurus used to do it. So this is by no means revolutionary. It's just what I'm trying right now. <laughs> Okay, I'm not, that one's not done. I'm just kind of getting a shape of both of them so that they're kind of even. If you guys can hear weird noises, it is my washer and dryer. They're in the room behind this room and I'm getting some laundry done. So that's what's happening. Mom life, hashtag mom life. I feel like they're not turning out very well. And that's probably because I'm on camera. Great, great, great. That one, that one looks much better than that one. Isn't that life? And then I put the Kosas through it to just kind of fix whatever that did. I feel like it fills it in and floofs it up. There we go. Eyebrows. Is it the best technique? No, no, it's not. Is it the technique I'm using right now? Yes. Yes, it is. All right, some powder is a funny thing because I put it on at different times. Sometimes if I remember, I put it on right after I put on my mask or I put on my foundation, which I feel like is probably the best time to put it on, but I forgot. And now my heat is on, great. So we're gonna put on um, powder now. So my 2022 favorite powder was the Kosas Cloud Set Powder. My 2022 favorite powder is the Kosas Cloud Set Powder. So I'm gonna use it. I, I I haven't done one that was both that I'm gonna just use. I, I, I don't have an, I also, I think I'm just trying to use up a powder. So, and I feel like it used to have more of a dome shape on it and I'm, and I'm gonna use this up and I'm bound and determined to. I do have another powder though that I'm going to talk about that I didn't have last year, I don't believe. I like this powder because I feel like it doesn't, totally mattify. It just kind of makes you look set. Like I still, you can still see, like it didn't mattify my powder, my, my highlighter too much. I don't know. I just like it. I like it. I think it's a really nice powder. Okay. My next powder that I'm going to talk about is from Pat McGrath Labs. And it is specifically an eye, what is it? It is a Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder. So I use this under my eyes specifically. So you could probably use like a, a, a sponge, but I have this brush from Lunar Beauty that has two ends. And so this one, sometimes I use this for the powder and then I use this side for the under eye powder. I didn't use this one for the powder today, which I should have, but meh. And it is incredibly, like there's a dust cloud. You can't see it, but it is the most like pickup from a powder I have ever seen in my life, but it is so finely milled. Anyway, so that, I guess that helps with like creasing under your eyes. So maybe that's why I don't have that. Like I don't care about concealers because I have that to make all concealers nice. I don't know. Okay. My favorite mascara from last year was, I actually have none of them. Do I have none of them? No, I have one of them. I didn't get them out. Why didn't I get them out? Okay, so my favorite mascaras from last year was the Essence. 
it was the green essence what is it was it oh i didn't write what it was called i don't remember it's going to be in my description box and i used it up i used it up it was in my empties and then it was the thrive mascara which i used up as well so that is in my empties and then also this one the bad girl bad girl bang from benefit this one is this is still my favorite i love this one because whenever i want a pop of color um like if i don't really have it anywhere on my face i'm like i could just do a pop of color on my eyelashes bam this this i love this i feel like i could do a new the one the one that i'm using right now i don't know if i should do this one because it is light beauty is now out of business but it is the one that is my favorite right now so i'm going to tell you about it i picked this up at tj maxx so I don't know if it's still at TJ Maxx right now. I have actually been, I went to TJ Maxx the other day and it, well, I didn't see any there. But if you do find it at TJ Maxx, it might still be there, I don't know. Anyways, it is the Bite Up Upswing Mascara and I just, I really like it. I think it's a great mascara. I think that my, my eyelashes look really good every single time I use it. So it is my 2022 favorite mascara. I actually, learned a new way to put on mascara as well. I was watching the Welsh twins and they, and Andrea Ali, and they were talking about how you have to, you turn. And this is, it's, it, it does work, but it is, it is difficult. And actually when it was, I think it was Robert, Robert Welsh. Um, they were talking about how you turn it and also go like that. And I was like, I, I feel like that's too much for my brain to do. But if you can do that, like turn, nope, can't do it. <laughs> I stopped turning if I, yeah, anyways. I don't believe I used to roll it like that. And I, you also try to, who knew that putting on mascara was such a, like a skill? Cause you try to roll it and you try to pull your eyelash, your eyelid through, oh my gosh words holy cow you can tell it's monday for me not for you maybe it is for you i don't know when you're watching this all right see now you can tell the difference big not that's nothing although they're a little chunky right now let's try to unchunkify those nice okay so i am right-handed so th that lash always looks much better than this one. I did tell you about the rolling thing, but I'm not going to be as good at it on this side. I'm just going to forewarn you right now that I talked about it and you'll be like, why aren't you rolling? Because <laughs> one side is better than the other. Like especially the inside of this eye, no rolling. I cannot do that. All right, so. Mascara. Yay. Okay. Lips. Why do I keep putting, I keep putting things on top of my list and then I can't see my list. Okay. For lips. My last year's favorite was this Rowan. What are these called? They are the, I think they're like the Kiss My liquid lip balms. And this one is still, I still love this one. I, I have used quite a bit of it. I think that I have used more than I had last time. So it is in the shade Charlie. I love this. I love this is just a, a regular lip balm. I put this on all the time, but today I am going to go with a bold lip. And so I still love this one, but my 2022 favorite, especially this time of year, I feel like I've been wearing a red lip like every day for the month of December. And so today will be no different. This is from Give Beauty. It is in the original recipe shade. I do have another shade of this. It is the fishnet shade and it's a little bit more of a berry color than just like the straight red color. But I feel like this one is more favorite than the fishnets color. This one wins out. So we're going to wear this one. Let's do, let's do a lip liner. I don't always wear a lip liner. So I don't, this is from Thrive. This is in the shade Maya. So I guess this is my favorite red lip liner, but I don't, I feel, mm, I'm doing it for, I'm, I'm doing it cause I'm on camera. <laughs> All right. Lip liner on. Okay. Now this stuff and it smells like vanilla. I love that. 
I'm very picky about my red lipstick. I want it to be not too orange and also stay put because I don't want it on my teeth. And that's what this does. It is a beautiful red, not orange shade, and it's not on my teeth yet. <laughs> it's not on my teeth, but it doesn't, it has a, a, a dry down, and so it doesn't get on my teeth. For setting spray, my last year, my 2021 favorite was the Tower 28 SOS spray. This is still, this is still a favorite. I love this. I don't think I actually use this as much as a, like a setting spray. I use this, but I do. I use it for every. <laughs> I have like four different functions for this. I use this in the morning, like right when I wake up, I spray it on my face to like give me a boost um, because it has, I never remember what it's called. The hy hypochloric, hy hypochlorous, the hypochlorous acid in it that will, is good for sensitive skin. And so it, it helps wake me up because it's like a cold water in my face, but it also has that hypochlorous acid, which is good for your skin. And then I also use this to wet brushes. I also use this as a setting spray. No, I think that's it. So I don't have four, I have three uses for it. <laughs> okay, so this year, I don't know even if this is a favorite, it's just the one that I'm using because I have used half of it. Mm, well, yeah, that's half, that's half. I've used half of it. This is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh. This is a drugstore, yay, yay. This is really nice. I do really like it, but it's just, it's the one I'm using right now. Is it the best that I've ever used? Mm, I, 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 I had the Charlotte Tilbury one and that one, that one was better than this one, but that one was more expensive than this one. And so this one, I just, I am trying to use it up. So it is the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist and it smells like coconut. It is, it's really, really nice. I really do like it. And the, and the sprayer is really nice. So for a drugstore setting spray, it's fantastic. It is amazing for a drugstore. For like the best I've ever used. No, it's not, but it's the one I'm using right now and I really like it. So I, I am willing to spend the time to use it up. Actually, normally I put on my mascara after my setting spray, but you know, I, I forgot. Oh, it is really nice. Okay, there it is. There is my 2022 favorites. Yay! Okay, what are some of your 2022 favorite makeup? What? And this is like my favorite. What? This is one of my favorite makeup looks. Like during December, um, kind of a more neutral eye with a bright red lip. Perfect. Love it. Love it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing to my channel. And if you want to be reminded of my vid videos, push the bell. And most importantly, be nice to yourself because you're amazing. Have a great day. Bye.